I'm just gonna close my eyes and pretend that I'm not here All these empty faces talking about problems, I don't care I can't wait till sundown cause my body's aching I just wanna dance, I just wanna dance Don't you wanna party? Standing in the crowd feeling heartbeat, everybody's carefree Good morning. So, you know, I've just realised today that every day I start a vlog by saying good morning, welcome back to the vlog. But I've only just realised that you're actually watching the vlogs in the evening, so should I be saying good evening, welcome back to the vlog, but then it wouldn't feel right for the time of day? I don't know. It's just a weird thought I had this morning. But I'm starting my day by going and getting coffee and dropping off the t-shirt orders from over the past couple of days. Thank you so much to everyone who's bought a t-shirt. There's not that many left now, so if you want one, head over to cyclingcam.co.uk and grab one before they're all gone. Because after these ones sell out, I probably won't get any more for some time. I want to talk to you guys about something. Actually, before I do... Before I do, this room needs a clean. There is stuff everywhere. We've got t-shirts on the floor, shoes, balls down here, and just general untidiness. So I'm gonna tidy the room, and then we'll come back in one minute. Don't you wanna party? Sitting in the crowd, feeling heartbeat. Don't you wanna party? Expectation. I wanna to talk to you about expectation. Let me take you back to this time last year, March 2016. I wasn't posting these videos. I didn't have an audience watching my videos. I was just a second cat cyclist starting my starting my race season. Then during last season, I achieved my first cat license. And then I decided to start making YouTube videos and documenting my life as a person, as a cyclist. And we've managed to grow a bit of an audience. It's not a massive audience, but it's still an audience and it's something that I am so proud of. But last year when I turned up to a race, I didn't really have any expectation on me. I only needed to do well for me and for my team. Fast forward a year to 2017, I turn up to a race and then as opposed to eight people with an expectation of me to perform, there's now thousands, literally thousands of people watching me, hoping that I get a result, saying good luck for your race and it's insane. But there's just this level of expectation which I feel going into every race now. I don't know, I don't really know where I'm trying to go with this with this story. I guess I kind of feel like there's a little bit more pressure on me this year to perform well. I never really put pressure on myself. I just train hard and I believe that the results will come. But then I also think back to last season when I didn't have an audience and then I think, do, do I want this again? Do, do I not want to have all these people watching me trying to perform well? And then the answer to that is, is no. Of course not. I much prefer documenting my journey, documenting my races and putting them on YouTube and then for an audience to watch them. I don't really know where I'm going with this story, but just put yourself in my feet. I'm exactly the same as every single person watching this. I'm just your, your average first cat cyclist trying to win races and trying to do well. And then suddenly I've got all these thousands of people watching me trying to do well. It's just bizarre I, and i guess that's another one of the beauties about this vlog it is where i can i can talk i can vent i can express my opinions my thoughts i don't know go run free Today's a rest day from training. I'm not doing anything today. I'm not even riding to the cafe on my bike. So I thought what I could do instead because I'm not training today, instead of walking into the field next to my house, let's drive a little bit. Let's go somewhere a little bit nicer, somewhere a little bit more scenic. But typically when I do that, it's starting to rain now. I can never believe how fast the weather changes. Amazing sun and blue skies one day, 15 degrees. And the next day it's raining again. Random story, this Adidas hat isn't actually mine, it's George's. Last time I was with her, I was wearing it for the day and uh, I forgot to get it back. So it's in my possession until I next see her. So Georgia, thanks for the hat. Don't you wanna party? Staying out all night, feeling like we're young. Acting like tomorrow will never come. Counting every moment till the weekend come. Why go into the muddy, boggy water? So every time that the dogs are in the vlogs, everyone loves them. They say we want to see your dogs more in the vlogs. So I think it's about time we formally, formally introduce my two dogs. Lexi, come here, hey, sit. No. Hey, Lexi, on here, on here, on here, up, up, sit. <laughs> sit, Lexi, oh my God. Sit, sit, sit. Good girl, stay. So this is Lexi, she's two years old. She's a lab collie cross. Uh, she's 
very, very well behaved. So intelligent, so smart, a complete polar opposite to Sam. But anyway, like I can go for a walk to the shop or, or down the road and I don't need a lead for her. She'll just walk next to me and then when I go to a shop, she'll just sit outside until until I come back out. She's so intelligent. One of the smartest, most intelligent dogs I've ever, I've ever seen anyway. And then dog number two, Sam, come on Sam, up. Sam, up. No, no, Lexi, get down, get down, Lexi. Sam, come here, Sam, Sam. Now, Sam is the complete polar opposite to Lexi. He doesn't listen to what you're saying. He j just does his own thing. Sam's a cool dog, but he just he just does his own thing. Sam's about nine years old now. He's a pedigree um, beagle. There we go. There we go. We got him. We got him. This is Sam. This is Sam. And he just growls at anything. Is that a tree moving in the wind, Sam? You going to go and get it? <laughs> so even though they're two completely different dogs in terms of personality, they get on so well. What's that, Sam? What are you barking at? What is it? What is it? It's been about six hours since I last picked up this camera. We're now we're now in the evening. I've spent the afternoon working and also working on a couple of cool little projects for the vlog, which I am so excited to share with you very soon. I just wanna dance. I just I've just come into spa because we have run out of dog food. We've run out of dog food and Sam and Lexi have not yet had their tea. So, we need to get some more dog food. And I am the only person in this shop. It's so quiet, it's so weird. But why am I whispering? I don't know, let's get dog food. I'll see you tomorrow.